Hey, it's Candy. Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> First time filming in this setup, and I'm gonna have to move my art around. <laughs> See you guys, because I'm blocking the entire thing. Like, all of that art my sister did, because she's awesome. So we're gonna have to figure something out for that. Obviously, canvas is gonna work better because you can see the reflection of my lights in this girl. So, yeah. What's over here? Oh, you see my water bottle in the, in the window? Okay, we're fine. Hi guys. I know, it's been a while. So I wanted to kind of uh, do like a chatty get ready with me and kind of catch y'all up on what's been going down in Candyland. <laughs> I hate myself. <laughs> Let's see. Um, goodness. So, how have you guys been? It's January. The world seems like it's no longer on fire at the moment. So that's good. <laughs> I feel like I stress about everything and most of it I have no business stressing about. But you know, I just can't stop myself. <laughs> All right, so what's been going on? Uh, obviously I moved my room around. I built this amazing desk space, which I might be able to show you today. I have like piles of videos that need to be done over here and I have a, that box right there is all like donate or give away I'm still a little unorganized but I feel so much better plus I have like this we need to paint because I have this random like off-white backdrop behind you guys <laughs> so that some of the light bounces off because this green wall just sucks up all the light. So I did get approval to paint, so he said he doesn't really care what I do. I'm like, all right, cool. Shouldn't say that kind of thing to me, but whatever. <laughs> I'm just putting on some camouflage concealer because my dark circles are insane. Uh, all right, so as per usual for me, uh, January has been rough. I, I historically am very depressed during January. I think it's the the dump of you know putting a video out every day and Christmas and all that good stuff that happens, and then January, and you're like. Meh. Nothing good happens in January, you know? That's what you tell yourself anyway, even though there, there could be amazing things happening for you in January, but like, seasonal depression, you know? Um, <clears throat> yeah, so that's why I had decided to like, change my space up, and it took me, I don't, it took me like, two and a half weeks to like, get it exactly where I wanted it. You know, trying different things out, and usually when I come home from work, I can't do anything else. Like, I just, I can't. I just, I can't force myself to do anything else once I get home from work. And it kind of sucks. Turn you guys a little bit. And it's like, I just have no motivation or energy to do anything once I'm home. Um, if you guys don't know, I'm, I'm an office manager slash bookkeeper slash whatever. <laughs> Basically do whatever, you know? And tax season is in January. I have to get my W-2s out. I have to get all my quarterly reports done. I have to, you know, all that good stuff. And it's just a lot sometimes. And then, on top of all of that, I've still been feeling really sick. And if you remember back in November, 
I was supposed to have a GI scope. I don't know if I told that entire story, so we're going to tell it again. So I was supposed to have a GI scope on November 18th. And you have to, like, not eat. You have to get a ride. They can't come in with you. You know, they have to sit out in the parking lot during your procedure. So I had a lie. I had a ride lined up. And my I had to leave work for my appointment at like 11. They called me at 9.30 and they were like, um, hi, we just realized that we scheduled you for an in-office visit and you need to be put under sedation. So we're gonna have to reschedule. And I was like, for real? <laughs> like, okay. So I had done all the prep, got everyone in line. Brittany had taken the day off because she was going to take me. And then they are like, nah, just kidding. They're like, we will call you within the next few days to reschedule. Well, they didn't call and they didn't call and they didn't call. So about mid-December, because, you know, I, I give people the benefit of the doubt. About mid-December, I called and made an appointment. And it's on February 2nd now. It's in the hospital. <laughs> it's not in the office. So they're going to sedate me. So that is, uh, today is, what, Thursday? Yeah, Thursday the 28th. Because my dad's birthday was yesterday. Um, so it's, it's a, on Tuesday. I went and took my COVID test yesterday. Because pre-procedure you have to take a COVID test. And, um, yeah. That's where we're at on that. That's the that on that. Um, so what my symptoms have been is, you guys know I've been complaining about like nausea, vomiting. Like I, I, this, I said this to myself the other day. I was like, oh, I feel so bloated all the time. And then the troll inside my head was like, you're fat. How do you know you're bloated? Listen, I know. Okay. <laughs> But I just feel disgusting all the time, like, just uncomfortable. It's just uncomfortable all the time. And I just want to figure it out, like, especially this week's been extra bad, where, like, my stomach just feels full all the time. Even though, like, I know I haven't ate since last night, I feel like I just had, like, a three course meal like it's it's so annoying it doesn't deter me from eating at my regular time because I know that I need to eat and so I got my intolerance test back out that I had like at this point it's probably like two years ago now that's how long I've been having issues with my digestion um, so I got the intolerance test back out and I was looking at it and I was like, okay, like I've pretty much been like eliminating most of these foods. Um, I cannot have any sorts of beans. Like, okay, there was four tiers on the test. Tier one, you don't really have a reaction to. Tier two, you have a mild reaction. It may cause, you know, certain things. Tier three is more severe. Tier four is avoid at all costs. Like, it, you will be, you know, real bad. So, on tier three is eggs, dairy, um, the amaranth family, and string beans. And so I was like, okay, well, I don't eat a lot of string beans, so, but what I didn't look is that like those families have more things in them so like like quinoa is included in the amaranth family and so is spinach which I've told you guys before I try to avoid leafy greens because I felt like they were making me sick well that makes sense now and in the string bean family is basically every mother frickin bean ever like you just can't eat beans fine uh, my mom works for a doctor, and he was like, well, you know, tell her to, you know, add more fiber to her diet. I was like, you know, I could do that. 
I, I can definitely do that. I'm trying to decide what palette to use today. I'm going to go with gingerbread. Um, so I was looking up like the highest fiber diets, you know, like the highest fiber foods. And of course, beans are on all of them. Um, but so are things like apples <clears throat> and uh, pears were on there. Oops, that's not the color I want. Pears were on there, and so I was like, okay, well, I can eat more fruit. And, you know, I can, I can, I can do this. Wow, that went on a lot darker than I thought it did. Picked up a lot more color than I expected. I have to blend that out pretty well. Um, it's also like an hour before my normal time because my boss decided to go snowboarding today. So I have to work an extra hour before I usually get there and an extra hour after. Um, so yeah, so I'm looking up these high fiber diets and it's like, no, like you should have beans and um, whole grain breads and pastas and like they are like high fiber pastas and I was like <laughs> all of this is on my intolerance test is things that I should avoid cool I love that you know it's just <sighs> I was I was severely frustrated yesterday like at the end of my rope frustrated I have to try to get some of this color off um and then I had been told in the past that I may have a histamine intolerance. So there's like this 30, 30 item list of things that, you know, are high fiber that you should eat. And like seven of them were not on my intolerance list. I was like, cool. So it's like berries and apples, bananas. Um, what was the other thing? Oh, popcorn was a huge one. And I was like, cool, I can do popcorn. Popcorn's literally the only thing that's not on the histamine list that was on the fiber list that was not on my intolerance list. <laughs> like, does that make sense to anyone else? Like, I'm trying so hard to, like, make my body happy, feed it what it wants to eat, and it just hates me. It hates me. <sighs> I just, I can't win for losing. This makeup turned out way brighter and darker than I intended to. But you know what? We're going with it because I don't have time to worry about it. <sighs> so basically, what I'm down to is broccoli, rice, chicken, pork, shrimp as like proteins, uh, cauliflower is okay, sometimes it gets to me, and yeah, that's about it. Oh, some nuts. I can do like almonds. It's just insane to me. So what I'm hoping to find on my scope is some answers so they're either gonna tell me you know oh you have an ulcer let's try this or they're gonna be like okay we need to do further stuff I wanted to do allergy testing I wanted them to do a more in-depth like intolerance test which I'm probably just gonna do on my own um, I've been looking at every well and my friend Stacy she got an every well test and she was really impressed by it. So I want to uh, try that again, compare it to what the old test said and see, like, be very strict about it. You know what I mean? Cause I'm just so tired of feeling like this. Like I, I literally turned th uh, 40 in like, what is it? Like 97 days or something. I don't want to feel like this forever, you know? It's just, it's uncomfortable and it's not fun at all.
And so, I just want to figure it out. Like, I've... Hold on. I've been complaining about this stuff for like three years and it's gotten really bad in the last year where I've missed work for days where I can't stop throwing up or I can't stop like dry heaving because I've already thrown everything up and I'm just like gagging all the time just nauseous so I like I just want to figure it out I just want to know what's going on and like how I can keep it from keeping on happening. <laughs> on fun stuff that's been going on, <laughs> my nephew's got a Nintendo Switch for Christmas. And so the three of them share it. And they love Fortnite when they were here before Christmas was it before yeah it was before Christmas uh we were playing Fortnite a lot and so what they'll do is they'll video chat me and we'll play Fortnite together like they'll be on the switch like they have to take turns one of them will be on the switch and I'll be on my computer and we'll be playing Fortnite together and it's their favorite thing what okay in the middle of redoing my room, I didn't have my computer set up and I knew my older two nephews were at my mom's. Well, Leo calls me and he goes, Hey Chrissy, do you wanna, do you wanna play Fortnite with me? I'm like, oh buddy, my computer's not set up. He's like, we'll put it together. <laughs> I'm like, it's not that simple. <laughs> Don't actually have a desk at the moment. <laughs> My mom's been really sick too, and so it's just been a lot. <laughs> My mom has to have her gallbladder out, and she was like really sick for like three days, and they weren't sure what was going on. And so I spent, I took a weekend and I went up and saw her. And... Hi, what's up? Also, a fun story, um, Logan's 10, and they decided to get him his own cell phone. Wait. Hi. Apparently the cats want to be up here now. Um, Logan and Landon had my sister and her husband's old phones with, like, no service on them, but they could use the Wi-Fi and play games and stuff, and last weekend... They decided to get him his own phone and so I got a call from this weird number and I was like what the hell so I answered it Athena Athena you're gonna rip that off the wall she don't care she's a cat she don't give a shit um I got this number from weird I got a call from a weird number and I was like okay well I'm gonna answer it anyway luckily I did because it was them and they were like Hey, we got Logan a phone. We're gonna call you, or we're gonna text you in a little bit. This is his number. Um, we want you to call it when we text you. I'm like, oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. So I get the I, I get the call, or I get the text, and I call the number, and he's like, what's going on? Hello? And, I was like, hey, Logan, whose phone are you on? He's like, I don't know. I go, well, you better ask your mom whose phone that is. He's like, mom, is this dad's phone? She's like, no, buddy, it's your phone. Cat crossing. And so he was so excited that he got his own phone and it was so cute. And then Leo goes, does that mean I can have your old phone? <laughs> Of course, because that's that's what he cares about. He wants his own phone to play games on. So <laughs> now they all have a phone. And the first couple days, Logue called me like every few hours. <laughs> it's just cute. And then 
Landon got Logan's old phone. So he had the, there's a messenger app that we use for the kids so that they can contact us, you know, f f when they're on Wi-Fi. And um, <laughs> so he video calls me, Landon does, from Logan's phone, Logan's old phone. And when I answer it, it's just the ceiling. And I'm like, what? Hello, Landon? He's like, oh, hi. And I go, what are you doing? He goes, well, I called you, but I was gonna go get a snack because I thought it would take a little bit to connect. I'm like, you're adorable. <laughs> a child after my own heart. I'm gonna go get a snack. So <laughs> that should be, you know, that, that was fun. Um, I am babysitting them next weekend because it's my sister and brother-in-law's 15th anniversary. That's cute. So they're gonna go away for the weekend, so I'm gonna go stay with the boys next weekend. Pretty excited about that. You know, they're my favorite people. Ma, ma, ma. Am I missing something? I feel like I'm missing something. I do need to put something on my lips. So yeah, I guess that's basically it. I've been <laughs> so depressed that I haven't even hung out with Brittany very much. And luckily she's the type of friend that doesn't take offense to that. She understands me. It's just, it's been rough. But also like, not that bad, you know what I mean? Like. I kind of just take it in stride, I guess, and try to enjoy the good things while simultaneously my brain is like, you're stupid, no one likes you. You know, that kind of thing. There we go. We did get snow the other day a little bit. Um, what was that Tuesday? Yeah, Tuesday, my friend needed me to uh, give them a ride so they could pick up some medication. And I was like, okay, cool. Well, it started to snow right before I left. You guys wanna say hi to Haley? I was just gonna throw her on the floor. Not throw her, put her on the floor. You say hi, Elliot. Harriet. Um, so it started to snow and I was like, oh, this reminds me of Ohio and I don't wanna do this. But it was fine. It was like barely any snow and it wasn't icy, so it was nice. So it was the first time I'd been like inside a store in months and months and months. I usually just do grocery pickup, order everything else online. I just, I don't wanna, don't wanna chance anything, you know? So I just, well, and it, the things that I needed, we went to Walmart, the things that I needed were cat litter, shower caps, Vaseline, and brownie mix. <laughs> Yeah, that was my cart. <laughs> it's <was> fun. <laughs> I got, um, my mom convinced me to order from nuts.com. And so I got like, um, rice noodles and I got some mixed nuts. And I got these like sea salt caramel chocolate things. And I thought they were going to be bigger because I was going to put together like a, uh, Valentine-y little thing for my friend and they were like super small so that's why I bought the brownie mix because I'm gonna do like sea salt caramel brownies and take them to the guys at work I'm gonna, I'm gonna maybe I'll cut them into heart shapes I don't know if they deserve that from me <laughs> uh, oh and I bought uh, Vaseline and shower caps so that I could dye my hair I think I'm gonna go ahead and do this Arctic Fox because I have it. It's not expired. It's still sealed. I've only had it for like a little over a year I've had it. 
So it's perfectly fine. So I'm gonna put the Vaseline on so it doesn't get on my skin and then put the shower cap on and just sit in it for like hours. Cause this stuff you can have on for like super long periods of time. So anyway, I think that's it. I, th I think I've caught you guys up. I felt like I was just like chatting to myself, like telling myself how terrible the last month has been, but it hasn't really been that bad. Like if, if, if I'm being honest with myself, it could be much worse. And I just got to keep telling myself that. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. Is it, it, how, how do I do an outro? I don't even know anymore. Oh gosh, it's later than I thought it was. Crap. I gotta, I gotta be to work in 17 minutes. Luckily, I only live seven minutes away. So, I just gotta change my clothes now. Do you see why I want to dye my hair though? Look at all this gray. <laughs> Look at that one though. I kind of dig this like stripe of gray that I get right there. Yeah. Anyway, my hair is flat as a pancake. <sighs> Thanks for swinging by. <laughs> Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, we got this. I love you guys so much. And I'll see you soon.